Alright. A hole in the world. The silver graph plate you recovered from the Royal Conservatory points to a secret location, far away in the mountains near Shindari Peak. Once you're there, find an entrance to the void and eliminate the outsider. Darkness at the center of all things. It'll change you if you think about it too much, but it's always there. It waits for you. When I was in hiding, I tried to forget everything that I was. Now I aim to keep my promise to a dead man, someone who meant the world to me. Sometimes I still hear Dowd's voice echoing through the metal of this miserable knife. This is the strangest, most important thing I've been through, and that's saying a lot. There's a mining complex on Shindere Peak, somehow so obscure that most people don't believe it exists. That mad cult lives there, protecting the one place that can bring me face to face with the outsider himself. Years ago, I heard Dowd talking about the void. A fear that grips your throat, bends your spine, but I can't turn away now. What will we have left if the outsider's gone? His name might be lost to the void, but tonight, I'll find out if he can still bleed. This is the place, Shindere North Quarry. It shouldn't exist, but from what I can see, this place is real. At least for now. Here, the void is closest to the surface of reality. Breaking through and spilling out all the fear and power the Abbey of the Everyman tries to hide. You have uncovered the world most. What you do now will change the world. You again. You know I used to wonder if you'd speak to me. I almost wanted it. Every street kid, Every desperate wretch pushed to the edge. They all wanted you to speak to them. Why didn't you? Why me, now? You know I'm here to end this. You and this disgusting cult. People have come to this place for centuries wanting many things. To elude death, to seek forbidden knowledge. They are never satisfied no matter how much they take. Not even the dead find peace here. You will find another relic of the cult's heart. A piece of whatever God came before my time. You will find the people who murdered me. When I knew them, they had names and ambitions. Now, they wander this place. Their minds snared up with terrible secrets. Keeping hidden the unspeakable ritual that made me what I am. Deep in the void, they put a knife to my throat and tore my name away. You have found the knife. Maybe you can find my name in the black viscera of this place. If you care to look. Why are you telling me this? What do you want? We both know how a mob can justify a murder to themselves. Who I was or what I wanted never mattered to the cultists here. I will not speak to you again. The next time we meet, you will be face to face with what was done to me all those years ago. Your mind echoes with everything that Dowd wants you to do. But I am here to say that you have a choice, Billy Lurk. Okay. Alvaro and the Abbey. Yeah, I didn't complete that one. Don't worry, I know. Kill the Outsider or find another way. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> Alright, what's in here? Some stuff. A fire. Trevor Log, he's close. My nights in the mountain have been sleepless, but last night I dreamt about the outsider. I knew I would sooner or later. He was held in the void, eyes shut tight, as if he were dreaming. Something just as terrible. I didn't hesitate, I put my living hands to his cheek, then brushed the knife deep into his chest. I leaned into it with my whole body as it slid into him with a shudder, blood welling up over my fingers. His eyes opened, and I saw him face to face, just for a moment. Then he fell, trembling in the dark, and all I could see was Deidre twitching in the gutter like the day she died. I had to force myself to wake up, just so I could look away. I know my, I know the knife becomes a part of me when I can't see it. I feel it in my chest, in my throat. I could hate the outsider for what he's done to me, twisting up the few memories I hold dear. 
showing me horrors I never want to witness, leaving me with ragged pieces of myself, all bound up in shadows. Can I end his miserable life for that? Travelogue. Um... Doubt is dead. I'm all that's left of him. Me and this knife. I can't let go. Dolores Michael's boat. A bank was a puzzle box for miserable secrets, and right at the center was the reason for it all. A woman... Th um, a woman... Taught to breaking. What? Taught to breaking and the knife she tried to hide. The outsider handed the knife to me himself. He wants to know... He wants to know what I'm going to do with it. He'll find out soon enough. Why does this thing have two blades? Nothing ever sticks between them. Stuck between them. It's ever gets stuck between them. None of this void shit makes any sense. I burned Dad's body today. When I left the Wailers, the Rat Plague was still piling corpses in the street. There wasn't anyone alive in these months who didn't learn grief. Even Dad nearly lost himself to it then. But I can't lose myself. Not now. Not again. When Daedri died, who I was or what I'd done died too. No one else saw me like she did. Like she did. No one until I met Dord, Dowd, and he gave me purpose again. When I left Dunwall, I let the heal over with lies, but my time back with Dowd reopened that wound. All I can hope now is that I helped him in his final days, just like he helped me. Stolen secrets. At the bank, I learned more about the pharmacist Cian Fugos. He was an eyeless and an artist too. He painted the void and was so close to finding out the cult leaders reached that place know, um, reach out how the cult leaders reached that place. He stole documents from Dolores Michaels and sent them to the Royal Conservatory. I need to find them so I can see what he saw. His paintings are quiet, if a painting can be quiet. Quiet but unsettled. He wants to know everything. Um, um, he wants to know everything. Uncover every secret. He was searching, just like me, and he would kill for it. A broken coven. Coven. The last time I was in Syria Gardens, the Royal Conservatory had become a nest for the same cover of witches. I'd worked with it um, within Dunwall years ago. The curator, Brianna Ashworth, and a group of women who um, women were living there, performing odd rituals with bones and glass. Now the Abbey of the Everyman and this witch hunters and their witch hunters have taken it over and are gutting the place full traces of black magic. If I'm lucky the documents I need haven't been burnt yet. When the outsider is gone and the overseas can't use him to prey on people's fear, I'll be there laughing at the Abbey's fall as the Abbey falls to pieces. The way to Shindari North Quarry. I'll never know exactly what Sister Rosewind saw in her visions, but sometimes something made her hesitate. Something made her hold onto that silver graph long enough for me to save it from the fire. The archive that Sian Figure stole shows me exactly where the void touches our world, where I can reach the outsider. I don't know where um I don't know what else I'll find there. All the whispers and legends says something terrible, something you can't forget. I won't know what's true until I reach it. What do you pack for a journey to the void? I just left everything behind. Leaving Kanaka. Every day Kanaka gets smaller. The sw the sw that swarming, stinking city, now now nothing but a few lights in the distance. But I can't look back anymore. The void is closer with every stop. It's quiet out here. Sometimes all I can hear is my own breath, my own heartbeat. It reminds me of being on the open ocean. Feeling like you're the only one left alive. Feeling like the world won't care if you don't come back. Nothing but me and my thoughts. My choice. Everything I've done led to this place. Led me to this place, to the mom this moment, killing the Duke's brother when I was a kid, betraying Dowd, helping Emily retake the throne. But even then, I never felt important. I was always just another desperate person trying to make sense of her life. I watched my whole world being taken from me over and over. This time, I gave it all up on my own. I'm climbing the mountains. I don't know what waits for me there, but the outsider is watching, and he knows it's my choice to go to the summit. The outsider hasn't known anything but hatred for thousands of years. He was killed to fulfill a purpose. No one asked him what he wanted. The lights went out in his world and his eyes adjusted to the dark. I know what real loneliness is like. If it hadn't been for Dowd, I would have died from it. Now I'm walking into the void to face the loneliness creature in the world. Maybe the outsider knows I'm just chasing down someone who can give me a bit of purpose. I have nothing left except promises of the dead. When I reach him, I'll see more clearly than ever. All right then. I died because the man did, but soon there will be many more than that. 
I wonder if the outside is planning Where to do something. Everyone? I hate this place already. Yeah, it really looks scary. Shindari North Quarry. Why can't I double jump? Makes no sense. Oh. What? Did that really count? God damn you. God damn you. Where is everyone? I hate this place already. So do I. Does. I don't know what you're talking about. There we go. Difficulties continue at the Shindori North Quarry. <clears throat> Concerning reports have disrupted ruining activities at Shindori North Quarry yet again, with many working on site complaining of unsettling visual and auditory hallucinations. These have ranged from seemingly inertious instances of misplaced equipment to large sections of the mind disappearing or reappearing within hours. The widespread nature of these collective hallucinations have made them difficult for the Shindari Mining Company to dismiss. Furthermore, rumors of black damp miners slaying for a lack of breathable air caused by underground gases have spread leading to several threats of a general strike across the company's uh, work face as well as growing labor shortage as many miners choose to leave the troubled site. Acquisitions of poor working conditions, particularly lack of adequate ventilation, are entirely unfound and ultimately harmful to our operations, said Baroness Castiglia, a representative of the Shindari Mining Company, when she reached for comment. We are committed to the health and safety of our workers and have taken steps to ensure those reporting headaches, memory loss, and hallucinations have access to proper counseling and treatment. Right, 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 right. Of course, it's all good, it's just in your head. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> Report employee friendship I'm um, Infractions to the manager office. 
Alrighty. Boop. I see. Mine is letter. I know you don't believe me, but I saw it again. The air shivered and split apart and sealed upon again like a roof crossed. The rest of the day I didn't recognize anyone's faces. It was like their mouths and noses and eyes all blurred together like a bad silver graph. I had to guess who was who based on their clothes. We didn't leave Dunwall for this shit. When the Pendleton mines closed up, we thought, now's our chance. We can get to Sakonis. There's better pay and better weather there. Now? Maybe we should have stayed. I don't know. I can't handle this. I can't go down there, not knowing what I might see. Please, you have to believe me. You're the only one who knows. Your brother, Niall. Whoops. Ooh, yeah, that's a statue. Uh, there's the burn charm. Drop assassination, restore some mana, I'm health, slide speed is slightly faster, maintain your balance after displaced interpretation, and sustain only half damage. Gain an additional portion of void energy. So he said if we bother looking around we can find a, another way. So I just want to try looking around more. Just to see if there's anything that we can do to not kill him. Because yeah, I don't really care. But then again, if you can get a good side of the game, then you may as well get the good side. Right? Right. Right, right, right. Ooh. Oh, I know what I can do. Silver Rush at Shindari Peak. Silver Fever swept through Kanaka this week, as would-be prospectors hoisted a shovel and left to strike at Rich and Shindari Peak. The recent discovery of thick veins of silver ore Shindari North. Quarry has brought unprecedented profits to mining companies and small claim holders alike. Reporters say the lightest stroke of the pick uncovers silver nuggets worth thousands. The wild rush to make a fortune means that claims on the peak are going fast, but there are still opportunities for work as miners with the Shindari Mining Company. The company offers a percentage of profits to all who sign on to dig for them, so what are you waiting for? To Shindari! Yes, except the outsider lives near him. Okay. Oh, crap. Boomba? Let's see what's around here. Just a little quickly.
Ah, bom. Interesting. So that was all that was here. Why can't I double jump? I really need to figure that out. Why can't I double jump anymore? I have no idea. Maybe it was one of my bone charms that allowed me to double jump. Um... No. No. None. Alright, let's go check over here. So there's nothing on this side, it seems. So the way to f the way to kill the outsider, or not kill the outsider, find another way, isn't in this area, it seems. and talking to them, like the lonely rat boy from the stories. <laughs> We're not in a story. The Void needs you. I don't want to go to the Void anymore. I've seen what happens. The stone grips more than your body. It takes over your mind and heart. <laughs> this is our purpose, Antero. This is why we're here. Don't fight the influence of the endless and empty. I don't want to. I'm scared. I don't want to become like them. Don't worry, you won't. Next time, don't kill him. You deserved it. Alright. Let's go down. Time to look around the area. Seriously, inspect this. Why a promise? Okay, so it's seen this is the only way in. Okay, man. Loot. Why do they look like that? What goes on here? So what's this new bone charm? Slide speed is faster. Move slightly faster while carrying a body. Yeah, that could help. Okay, let's save. And let's see if we can do it without getting a downside. 
Because downsides usually they don't affect me, because they usually downsides towards um just things in general, like grenades manufacturing, or you take more damage. But I don't really care about those. But in case I do end up doing that at some point, I do not want it backfiring on me. Yeah, I got a downside, you can tell by the by the tune. And sound. Yep. Exploding bottles inflict damage over a small area. Oh, that's nothing. I'll keep that. I don't care. Bumbo. Let's see how fast we move now. Ho ho ho! Yeah, that's that's cool. Okay. Can't get in until I find the card. Doesn't seem like anyone's around either. Which is cool, I don't mind. I need to... Come on. Ah, didn't work. <laughs> I wanted to slide under. Why would I want this up? That's interesting. Why would I want that up? I love that they actually detail areas that you can't actually go to. Or maybe we can go there, we just have to drop to the floor. Drop through the floor, I mean. That could be a thing. Why am I allowed to go up here? <laughs> That's my question. Will it be answered? Probably not. Or maybe it will be. What's this area? Nice! That's cool. Supervisor's note. The front gate code is 845. I can't stay here a minute longer. For a while it was just the little light flashes of light. Like cracks in a window phone, you know? I'm paying, you know? But now, I hear voices, and it's not just a few whispers. Whole conversations. Like they're right beside me. Sometimes I see strange people out of the corner of my eye, but then they're gone. It's like everything shivers and changes in front of me. But and then it's back to normal, like nothing happened. This place is cursed. I don't know what's going on, but I'm not waiting for it to get worse. I'm going back to Kanaka. Connor. Alright, 
then. So you had to go to that place to get this. That's understandable. Pretty genius. Now I just need to find a way in there. Does something to do with this? Okay, I want to try something. <laughs> this is so going to kill me. 